I've been on this committee for about mm, two, almost three years. Um, someone told me 18 years ago that I'd be helping build a longhouse. And I, at that time, said, yeah, you're nuts. And lo and behold, it's coming true. And I am ecstatic. It is so awesome that we can have this longhouse to teach our children about our ancestors and what it was like and the close relationship they had with the Germans and the Mennonites and the Scotch-Irish and the early settlers that did come out here into this Pequay Valley. So what, what was the uh, longhouse actually used for? Was it a living quarters? Or? It was a living quarters. Um, there's several different types of longhouses. The Lenape had one house called a big house that was for ceremonial purposes only. This is not a big house. This is a living quarters. It's where the families would have lived. Um, each clan elder, a uh, woman elder would have, be in charge of the longhouse. And everyone that lived in that longhouse would be of that clan. Um, they, so they were all related. And there would be several clan uh, longhouses uh, pretty close together because each village you had to have three different clans otherwise because you never married someone of your own clan. It will, we hope to have it completed by midsummer. Um, we're going to probably have a opening for uh, in the fall and then in November we're planning on having a strictly native uh, gathering of Thanksgiving and harvest um, sometime in, in early November and then it'll be open to the public next spring for tours and be fully furnished.